So the technology is in transition. One is because there's a remarkable amount of uh, private equity venture capital money going into healthcare IT, along with significant energies by the tech giants, Google, Microsoft, IBM, along with the traditional EHR vendors. So phenomenal amount of technical innovation. The other transition is that we shift from the business model of healthcare, from reactive sick care to proactive management of health, uh, from management of volume to management of quality and efficiency, and from a fragmented healthcare system to an integrated healthcare system. So the technology is shifting because the business model is shifting, and shifting because of the enormous amount of innovative energy going into it. Anytime you have profound business model shifts in an industry, it takes time. So I think the shift in healthcare, particularly the business model shift, is 10 to 20 years long. the two fundamental things that I would try to do, or maybe there's a third. One is to remain focused on the shift to a value-based care system, and lots of different pieces of that, but re you know, remain focused on that. The second, remain focused on the valuable role that information technology can play in this shift. And I think the third is to fine-tune the regulatory set, and it's a tricky thing to do to remove those regulations which truly impede, uh, but also to advance those regulations which truly facilitate. So a large, very large degree is retain the overall strategic focus, which was a characteristic of both the Bush and the Obama administrations. Well, I think this is a, is a category of innovation, not a particular innovation, and that category is analytics and intelligence. So as these systems become smarter, and they become smarter in lots of ways. They become smarter because devices attached to us are being better at detecting and reporting of anomalies and you know, separating noisy signals from true signals, et cetera. They become more intelligent as we get very large amounts of electronic health record data, bring in social behavioral data, bring in data about how do we motivate you versus me, et cetera and begin to look at how do we design care plans and ways to approach your health which are truly an N of one, tailored to you. And the result will be a set of uh, IT which is much smarter uh, than it has ever been and as a result we as patients or consumers and those who are caregivers as caregivers will be much more effective targeted and efficient and frankly safer in the work that they do. EHI does in a very effective way and has done for quite some time is to bring all of the stakeholders together to say we've got a challenge so how do we collectively address that challenge in a way that meets the agendas and the interests and the perspectives of all so true change in healthcare frankly true, true change in society writ large occurs when you line up the various stakeholders to say we collectively want to make this change even if we have different vantage points and different pieces that we'll emphasize but nonetheless there's a collective desire and a collective ability and a collective power to go off and change, and that's what EHI brings to the table.